Hi, social media friends. Uh, you know, I mostly come on here to share what I'm up to, my musical projects and uh, that sort of thing, tell you about my tour dates. Um, but today I'm here to do something different. Like so many of you, I feel very concerned about the state of the world, the war in the Ukraine and other wars that are raging, the uh, threat of nuclear disaster, climate change, the pandemic, oppression of all sorts, um, and um, disinformation campaigns. Many of us are involved in some kind of activism. You know, we feel deep sadness about uh, what's happening and we feel compassion towards the people and the planet and the beings on this planet. We want to help. At the same time, we might feel kind of frozen uh, kind of stuck and unsure of how to proceed in our lives, we might be glued to the news and um, you know, trying to figure out how to think about things or trying to align our uh, opinions with people whose side we want to be on. Or we might just feel so overwhelmed and depressed and just want to distract ourselves from the harsh realities of life. And I understand um, you know, what that's like. Some of you may know that uh, I'm also a meditation practitioner and teacher in a Buddhist lineage. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. In my tradition, we have the belief and the experience that um, we are interconnected with all of life on this planet. And it's what uh, Thich Nhat Hanh, the great meditation master and peace activist called interbeing, that we are inherently inseparable uh, from others and that we can experience this and we do experience this. And I'm sure many of you had, like you've got somebody sitting across from you and you suddenly feel what they're feeling. In my tradition, we have practices that take us deeper into this experience and help us to open to it. And the way it works is we start by relating directly with our own state of being in our body. And we call these practices somatic meditation. Uh, somatic from the Greek word soma, which means body. So we come into the body, we breathe into this body, and we begin to feel what it's like. It's not what we think about it. It's not our judgments about it, but we begin to feel the felt sense of the body and the space of the body. And we start to uh, come closer to the intuitive wisdom of the body and its way of uh, feeling, its inherent connection, its uh, love and compassion for others, a sense of dignity and a sense of respect and curiosity. And when we do that, when we come into our body and we feel all of the emotional life that um, we may be keeping at bay, all of the feeling life that's sort of, you know, held over here, the um, tension in the body, all of the tightness, all of the ways that we're kind of frozen, our anxiety, uh, places where we have trauma stored up, as well as all of the relaxation that underlies that and the freedom that underlies that when we come into the body in this way, we begin to actually open up to this interconnectedness I was talking about with others. So it's by first making this relationship with where we're at, and in doing so, once we stop kind of fighting ourselves, then there's this possibility of opening up more deeply and um, seeing how to proceed that the body actually shows us that there's uh, intuition rather than simply relying on our thinking mind. So I wanna show you a little bit of practice. This is a basic practice. Um, we're just gonna do a short version of it called whole body breathing. And the way we do it is we first come into our seat. So you could be sitting on a chair or sitting on a cushion and coming to our seat means that we feel what it likes Feel what it's like to sit. Feel the sits bones, feel our bottom pressing on the chair. Feeling gravity. 
connecting us to our chair and the earth below us. Feeling our feet on the floor and the temperature of the room on our skin and the clothes, the feeling of the clothes in our body. So we're coming into where we're actually at right now in this moment. And then if you like, you can close your eyes to get more of a sense of inner space in the body. And we're going to imagine breathing in through all the pores of the skin simultaneously. So you can use your imagination And see if you can feel the breath coming in through your feet, through your legs, through your torso, front and back, through your arms, through your neck and your head and your face. In breath, feeling the opening qualities of this fresh breath coming in, waking up the body. And on the out breath, relaxing and releasing. In breath, filling up the body, feeling the tension, and making a relationship with the relaxation that's just underneath it. See if you can feel that. On the out breath, letting go out through all the pores. In breath, vigorously breathing in through the pores. And if there's places that feel less open, let the more open areas of the body spread around the body. So you're breathing in through all the pores, filling up the body with breath and out breath, relaxing and releasing. Okay, thank you. So that's just a very brief uh, version of this. And of course, many of you already have meditation practice. You uh, may have other forms of spirituality that you engage in. And what I'm presenting here isn't meant to replace um, what you're doing. I want to show you some tools that have helped me and have helped a lot of people uh, come in to experience more deeply our state of being and then open out further to connect with others. So if you want to dig in deeper, you could visit, visit the um, webpage of my spiritual community, which is Dharma Ocean. And the webpage is dharmaocean.org, D-H-A-R-M-A-O-C-E-A-N.org. And I'm also hoping to be teaching more this year, both online and in person. So maybe we can figure out some creative ways to do that. Feel free to stay in touch and thanks for checking this out. I'll also be posting more of these videos on social media in the coming weeks. Bye-bye.